part 13 of a 20 part series on how we can get you more listings in 2023 as an estate agent. I'm joined by the big cheese, the big Don of listings generation for estate agents, the Gates master himself, Simon Gates. Simon, what have you got for us in part 13, mate? Uh, so uh, today's uh, video, part 13, we're just going to be looking at nationwide house price index. Oh, I um, love some of this. Yeah. yeah. So look, there'll be plenty watching this, so I'm sure uh, have, have come across this before, um, but it's it's just it's simple obvious but so effective uh, so again we can put the uh, the link in um, in the youtube comments but essentially google nationwide house price index you'll come to this page and i'm just going to scroll down and look at a region a postcode a uk average so much i can do but let's say uh, for example you're going out to appraise a property and i'm going to say it's in uh, my postcode mk16 ars um i don't know let's say it was valued at uh, three hundred and forty thousand pounds, uh, and that was in, I don't know, the summer of twenty one. So let's say someone's on a two year fixed rate. Okay, so come up towards that now. When would we like to compare the value to? Well, let's look at the last possible quarter we can, which is there, and get results. So now, as we just go back, three forty, summer of twenty one. What's it worth now? Well, it's gone up to three six five and a seven point four nine percent jump. Not bad, mate, is it? I mean, apparently, you know, if someone, uh, I don't know, on a, uh, was on a two-year fixed rate two years ago, the base rate was 0.1%. It's now roughly around 4%. They might be thinking the world is ending. Well, actually, rates are coming down. Uh, the base rate seems to be hopefully peaking. Uh, but actually, they've got 7.5% more equity than they did two years. Plus, don't forget, all the mortgage payments they've paid off over, the, over those two years as well. So it's not as, do, uh, as doom and gloom as perhaps uh, the media are portraying it to be. Indeed. Remember, bad news sells newspapers, boys and girls. Bad news sells newspapers. Good stuff. Well, thank you very much for that. And anything else before we move on to part 14? That's it for that, Chris. We'll see you on the other side, boys and girls, on part 14.